Okay, well, I'm going to start talking. I don't know how much of this is going to get on here, but um, I want to say thank you for the request for to make another video. Um, I appreciate it. I especially want to thank those folks in the UK for their comments, requests, questions. Um, I had the wonderful opportunity. My daughter and I visited England for the first time um, in April, and I absolutely fell in love. We were able to visit London and St. Ives, and I hope to go back next year to Newquay. So for all of you, if you're in that area, I say thank you. Um, starting today off, I've got the base coat is the Folk Art Chalk Sage. Um, I am using Amsterdam Green, a little black in one, a little white in another to change shades. I am using the Lemire Amethyst in Bronze that I don't know if you've seen those, but they come like this. Uh, mixture is two to one. And I'm using Creative Impressions Lamp Black and Okra with Deco Art Yellow. And let's see what we can create this morning. Um, unfortunately, a lot of this, all you're going to be seeing is the top of my head. Um, where I have to <laughs> blow on here. And I don't, for me, this is more the illusion of leaves and flowers than it is actually leaves and flowers. I don't know. If hopefully that makes sense to those of you that do this. Um, air bubble. Sorry about that, I got something stuck there. Air bubble. Sorry about that, I got something stuck there. Should have tested all these before I started the video, but look. We have lots of green in this one, aren't we? And just a tiny dab of the black because I found that the ones I did before, the black kind of took over. Not that I minded the final outcome, but it wasn't what I had envisioned, although it rarely ever is. Um, and yes, there is a lot of paint used on this in order to make it flow. I have not um, 
been able to use house paint successfully. Um, I just am in awe of those that do that with the balloons. I think they are phenomenal. Um, I am not one of them. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Hopefully someday I will get the chance. to do a successful bloom. How's that? All right, so now, here goes the top of my head for you all. Makes my nose run. Sorry. I'll tell you, I have found such satisfaction in just experimenting with taking off on different techniques and seeing what you can do. And I just, I have such fun doing that. Um, and sometimes it turns out well. Sometimes it does not. <laughs> All right, so there's my leaves. What I'm going to do with my leaves, let me just move some of these things here. As you can see, I'm not doing this very hard because the, um, <clears throat> I don't want it so distorted. 
just a bit of distortion so you've got kind of the illusion. There we are. Okay, once again, let's... <laughs> Wish I could see those things before. Before I call it good. There we go. Alright. Now, I am going to do a shift here from what I generally do, and that's I'm going to do the floral things with opposite each other. Hopefully that will turn out well. So I want to have, let's see, purple there. This is the metallic gold by Folk Art. your petals again however you choose to do them um, I'm still actually learning different ways to do this so and one thing that I have found in my paint pouring journey is that I love to combine techniques love to take the string pull, combine it with a swipe, um, which you will see on my other videos, because hopefully I can do another one today with a swipe and the string pull. Okay, so it's the purple now. We're going to Put 
start with the okra. Okay, let's see if we can delineate a bit of this. little spins, see where we are. And I'm going to leave it alone. Um, you can do this whichever way you decide, but I did want to show you where some of you had questions as far as how this is done, how do you make, if you want the leaves floating all the way down like I did on the first picture that I submitted, then you have to spin a lot more. 
I didn't want that for this one, so I did very minimal spinning. Um, so enjoy. Let me know if you try this and what you think. Um, the Again, I go back to the Folk Art Chalk Paint. I love working with it. I love having it for my base on things. Um, so let me know. Message me, comment, send any, any way you would like. All right, thank you so much. Have a great day.